Pearl Harbor was Michael Bay's attempt to make an epic, historical, biographical, romantic period war drama. And he failed mm, physically and intensely. This is the worst movie based on a real event I have seen. But, one exception. There are some things in this movie I do like that saves it from being a complete train wreck, but that doesn't say much because this is still a very disappointing movie. The basic plot is, this is, like I said, this is a romantic period war drama film uh, based on real historical events. We follow two childhood friends, Rafe McCauley and Danny Walker, as they enter World War II as pilots. Rafe is so eager to, to take part in the war that he departs to fight in Europe alongside England's Royal Air Force. And he, Kate Beckinsale, Evelyn, she helps him get into the military war stuff. And then he does depart, but, they, but then they think he's dead. Then, on the home front, his girlfriend finds the comfort in the arms of Danny and he, Rafe returns and he doesn't tell them that he's back mm -hmm. and we have this stupid love, tri love triangle titanic wannabe okay that's basically how Basically, how this movie is, is a freaking love triangle titanic wannabe. And this movie fails for all of the wrong reasons. They got so many things with Pearl Harbor wrong. And they got so many things with Pearl Harbor wrong. And it shows <sighs> why couldn't this movie just be two hours and 15 minutes why do we have to waste half of this run time which is three hours and and three minutes on this stupid love triangle why couldn't you just focus on what really happened during Pearl Harbor why do we have to do this stupid love story Titanic bullcrap? Huh? Real, huh, Michael Bay? You can't answer me, huh? I Because you want to pad out the run time with all this freaking love triangle bullcrap we don't need. And then, all of this stuff mm -hmm. is like... Mm -hmm. And, um, <laughs> we have all this stuff happening at once, and then you, all this stuff, it, this movie just got everything wrong. At first, this movie had a $140 million, had $208 million budget. With Disney executives, since it was a great deal to be expended on production aspects, and also controversial with this movie was the fact that this movie changed the film from being R-rated to PG-13 rated. And then Michael Bay, he wanted to portray the horrors of war, and he wasn't interested in marketing the final product to a teen, young adult audience. But budget fights continued throughout the planning of the movie. With Michael Bay, he was walking on several occasions. Yeah, and then you know, all the freaking trailers shows Ben Affleck still alive. He didn't die. This is one of the six highest earning grossing pictures of 2001 with 449, $229,945 million worldwide ahead of Shrek. And this is also the third highest grossing romantic drama film of all time. Behind Titanic and Ghost. No, Titanic was better than this. Yeah. People complain because that movie didn't focus on the Titanic. 
but I didn't mind, mind it. It's a freaking dramatization. With this, it's a dramatization. It may be a dramatization, but for something that is supposed to be about the real Pearl Harbor, Michael Bay, you honestly just didn't do it, do it justice. This is Michael Bay's fifth worst review movie to date with Transformers The Last Night, Age of Extinction, Revenge of the Fallen, and Bad Boys 2. Which, Revenge of the Fallen, Age of Extinction, and Bad Boys 2, I like those movies. I don't like The Last Night, but the technical achievements are great. The, look, the effect, the action scenes is nice. The action is nice. You can see stuff. You, was it, that's pretty much a good majority of the movie. Uh, the when the Pearl Harbor stuff does start happening, the attack does because the shot well, the effects, and Michael Bay he doesn't blow stuff up too quickly. It's boom, and um, it, look, the acting in this movie is not the problem. I like some of the cast. Now you got Jennifer Garner here; she gets overshadowed. Ben Affleck gets overshadowed. Josh Hartnett he does he does what he can. K. Beckinsale does what he can, but the best parts of this movie is Mako and Dan Aykroyd. Mako plays the guy who's leading the attack on Pearl Harbor, but he is the way this movie is written. You don't care about anybody because they sound like a bunch of crying, screaming boys and girls. Even in the scene, K. Beckinsale is telling the girls how she met Ben Affleck. They're just like, I'm like, my God, who wrote this movie? The writer of this movie is Randall Wallace. Randall Wallace, the writer of Brave Hearts. Huh. And a lot of things in this movie is wrong. They didn't reflect on the attacks. Represent they now. This movie is inaccurate and pure Hollywood. Okay. Okay. First of all, the inc. The inclusion of Ben Affleck in the Eagle Squadron is another aspect of the film. At the duty, and then the shows Japanese air, aircraft talking medical staff, and then the, they, they they blow up the freaking hospital. The hospital didn't get get blown up. Ugh. I want to see a move. I I want to see a movie about Pearl Harbor done right, and then you got. John Boyd, who is Frank, President Franklin Roosevelt, he barely does anything. He's the president of the U.S. And then also, Cuba Gooden Jr. is in here. He doesn't do anything. He's Cuba Gooden Jr. for goodness sake. What in the world? Everything in this movie, you did not... They didn't even portray the smoking habits accurately or the man hairstyle. Not almost everything in this movie is. You didn't. You couldn't even get anything right. The sound mixing is good. The music is good. I do like the song. But the script is so freaking written like crazy, like crazily, and then Hans. Look, Hans Zimmer's score is great in this movie. I will give you that. I will give you that, okay? Mm -hmm. The music by Hans Zimmer is great. I will give you that, alright? But it, will I own this movie? No, I'm not going to buy this movie. But I will watch the documentary on the production of the movie. And then the actual real life events of this movie. And then this movie is spread around two discs. Two discs on DVD for the anniversary edition. Um, disc one is the first two hours, and then disc two is the last half and special features. I'm like, even though the cast is fine, the acting is fine, and then there's a freaking director's cut of this movie for some whatever bullcrap reason. There are three audio commentaries on the extended cut, on the four disc of the movie. Mm -hmm. But, the action sequence is nice. You can see, the music is good. But, the way they just, 
the way they disrespect the Pearl Harbor is just no no I do like the song there you'll be performed by Faith Hill that's a good song and the score behind them and the cinematography looks nice but <laughs> This is not how you make a movie about Pearl Harbor, okay? If you're going to do a Pearl Harbor movie, at least be faithful, but people want to complain about Titanic. I give Titanic a pass because it's a freaking dramatization. It's not going to be 100% accurate. If you want a Titanic movie, go go watch the documentaries. Go watch The Night to Remember. I haven't even seen The Night to Remember. Remember. If you want a movie about the real Pearl Harbor, go watch Tor Tor Tor. Because that is a much better Pearl Harbor movie. I hope that if they do make another movie about Pearl Harbor, it's not going to be as bad as this. I guarantee it. And Michael Bay, you're not getting your hands on it. Because Pearl Harbor was a very tragic event, and I looked up all the stuff about Pearl Harbor. And the attack. And besides Pearl Harbor, there's a YouTuber, he reviewed this movie, he knows that everything was accurate. His JW Universe, I'm going to link his review of Pearl Harbor down in the description below so you can see how he feels about this because he even doesn't like the movie. Me, I, there are parts I like, but anything I like is overshadowed by a stupid love story and the wronging of how Michael Bay disrespected Pearl Harbor. So, at the end of the day, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to give the Pearl Harbor movie a skip it. I'm not going to give this a self disapproval or get out of my face club. So, let me know what you guys think about Pearl Harbor down below. Do you like it? I know a lot of y'all going to hate y'all hate it. I know a lot of y'all hate it because this this movie is very disrespectful towards a true event. And that is not satisfying. It's not. And if you like this, you can come here and we can all have a good time.